Scott, don't move. Hello, James. Fancy meeting like this? Drop the gun. Move away from the railing. Nicole, drop the gun! Or what? You'll shoot me? I'd prefer to bring you back alive, but it makes no difference to me. When did you figure it out? That's not important. I want to know why. Hey, what's up, guys? It's Maneater1231, and I got a review for you guys today. It's James Bond 007 Bloodstone. So uh, this game I uh, I got a couple days ago and I've been playing it and I've been working on it to make a review for you guys so you guys can see if you if you should get it or not. So uh, the game and uh, the, this game this James Bond game is great. It's really fun. Um, it's got a lot of new stuff that the the Quantum of Solace was missing. Um, as you guys can see, it is in third person, so it is, uh, it's a lot, you know, I think it's a lot better. Um, the, the combat game is very good. It's very, uh, lag free, you know, you don't have any lagging issues. And I think they, uh, you know, they worked really hard on making this a better, uh, James Bond game. Uh, the story mode is about seven to eight hours long, which is pretty good. And, uh, the missions are Every single mission I played, I enjoyed it. They were all fun. Now, uh, sometimes the the car chasings, they can get pretty tough if you're not too familiar with, um, you know, driving, you know, that kind of those kinds of games. But uh, you know, I had I had some uh, issues during the some of the ch uh, ca uh, the car chases. But it, you know, you play for a few hours and you'll get a hang of it. Um, the story mode is very, you know, it's very good, and um, I don't want to give too much about the story away, so I'm just going to let you guys play it and see how you like it yourself. Um, the story mode is, um, it takes place where James Bond is basically in search of who is, uh, who is delivering the, um, you know, they're, they're taking the, the cocaine and all kinds of uh, drugs, and they are bringing bringing them into uh, the European area and he's basically in search of the guy um, which is his name is rack and he is trying to find him and get him um, so I'm not going to give any more information away about the story mode uh, so you're just gonna have to play yourself and figure out what's going on I like the to tell you the truth guys the little cover system they had was very good the takedowns are every single one of them is cool and uh, as you guys can see right there, I use the uh, little focus thing they have going on. Um, every time you do a takedown kill or anything that's got to do with you going into a little slow motion, uh, you get a focus. So a focus, no matter where it hits, it will kill the person. And it's pretty awesome. The achievements in this game are also pretty um, easy to get. I didn't work too hard on them, but if you are a... You know, achievement freak. You can definitely get, um, you know, you could probably get the thousand straight out of this game. Um, now it does have four different uh, game uh, levels. It's got 007. Um, I'm not sure what the. It's got recruit and special agent. And I don't know what the third one is, but I played on special agent, which is the second one, I believe. And uh, I can tell you that it was. Um, I died a couple times. Not. Not a whole lot, but uh, I'm guessing uh, the 007 is going to be pretty, pretty hard. Uh, so, I mean, if you're a big fan of 007 games, you should definitely try this game out because it's really, really good. They've improved a lot. And, uh, you know, they just made the game a whole lot better. Um, so, guys, definitely check out this game if you're a big fan of 007 games because I can tell you... I'm, I don't I haven't played them a lot, but I can tell you this is definitely a good one. Um, so right now let's go check out the uh, multiplayer. This one will actually have a multiplayer in it, and I can tell you it's a uh, it's okay. It's not the best multiplayer. Um, they did you know this is the first time they're having multiplayer in uh, a James Bond game. So you know that's definitely a good thing that you know they did put it in there. Um, but I think some of the issues, the main issues the multiplayer has is how strong the weapons actually are so if you do get shot uh, maybe once or twice with any kind of gun you'll die 
um, which really is a shame because, I mean, the, the multiplayer definitely has potential of being a lot better. They can probably improve it. As you guys can see right there, I shot that guy, and he had like a lag death. I shot him, and then after a few seconds, he just died. Um, but, I mean, definitely the multiplayer is a lot of fun, and, you know, this game, I would definitely give it a 8.5 out of 10. So, guys, definitely check it out. James Bond 007 Bloodstone. Peace.